Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. Today we're talking about how to add motion blur inside a fusion so that you can get stuff kind of looking like this. Whoosh. Nice. See, look at this. Look at this nice creamy motion blur. Sorry I said it that way, but it's true though. This was rendered out of Blender without any motion blur, which means that it renders a lot faster. And all of this motion blur is added inside of Fusion. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good for the speed increases you get. So here's our animation in Blender. And the only thing that we need to do to set this up is make sure here in our render passes, we have vector turned on. What this does is renders out a fancy pass that has motion information, basically how fast everything is moving and in what direction. And so we can render this out as either a separate render or as a layer in our EXR. And here in Fusion, with our EXR sequence imported and our media in selected, we can go over to channels and make sure that our X velocity and Y velocity channels are set to our vector X and Y. And then we can pipe this into the green input of an effect called vector motion blur. And that's gonna look at our channels, vector X and vector Y, and it's going to apply pretty darn good motion blur to our render. So here's how it was rendered out, and here's the motion blur that it's adding. You notice that things that are moving faster get blurred more, things that are moving slower or moving towards camera don't get blurred as much. So that's a great way to get things rendered out of Blender without making it calculate that real motion blur. So there's a nice quick little tip for you. If you're learning Blender and you haven't checked out my Blender crash course, well, here it is right over here. Nice. Hope you have a good time with that. Hmm. So good.